my dears. Glad to meet you again. How are you, my dears? And I know um, you're happy and fine, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so welcome back to English class. Today, I have a question for you. Do you like to travel? Travel to some places? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> We all like to uh, travel in so many places. Why? Why do we like to travel? Can anyone tell me? Yes, when we travel, we got chances to see new places, new people, new ideas, new things. So, uh, when we travel, we are happy also, aren't we? Yes, we, we, we will be very happy when we travel. And traveling broadens our perspective of life, our, our viewpoint. our view of life itself how people uh, live in other places, places. How, how how is their culture, culture etc so we uh, our knowledge broadens we got so many new information by traveling and i think the most important uh, thing of traveling is traveling makes us happy isn't it sure Tra when we travel we will become very much happy Okay, how do you like to travel? How? On foot or by road, in a car or in a bus, in a tourist bus or in a train or by aeroplane or uh, do you like to travel in a ship? How, how do you like to travel? Yes, each vehicle has its own attraction. If you travel by uh, train, it's a, it's a very good experience. And if you travel in aeroplane, it's another experience. experience. And, And a ship, ship travel, travel, it also is just another experience. And have you ever traveled by a ship, traveled in a ship? I haven't. But really, I like to travel in a ship, travel in a ship. through the sea, through the wide sea. It was a very exciting experience. And I like to watch the inside of a ship also. Do you want to see the inside of a ship? Do you want? If yes, pack your bag. Let's go. I have, a, uh, I have booked a ship for us. Shall we go? Okay, pack your bag. Let's go. So, uh, here is our Yes, here is our ship. Shall we go inside? Yes, Royal Caribbean is the name of our ship. Look, uh, first of all, uh, let's watch our ship. lifeboats in the ship a ship should have lifeboats okay these are the lifeboats even though it's dark out there yeah now we are inside the ship look you've got this is the children's play area of our ship our royal caribbean sun on your face you take it with you everywhere and it warms your heart in the uh, display area okay play it's beating it comes from believing and it's a beautiful a beautiful feeling it's like walking in sunlight when the whole world's covered in rain clouds you're walking in sunlight finding the truth and living it out loud yeah when you know what's right it's not Do you want to play 
play table tennis? Then you get, here is the table tennis court in, the, in our ship. Oh, it's amazing to me how someone else can find the light that they need radiating in your eyes. This is the training track in our ship. And can, can you see, see the sea here? Look, here is the sea. sea. We are yeah. in the sea. Then it warms their heart that's beating And suddenly you're leading them to that beautiful, beautiful feeling Ah, oh, we, we have, have gymnasium also in our ship. ship. We, are we are going, going to gymnasium. gymnasium. Look. It's like walking in We're walking in sunlight Finding the truth and living it out loud Yeah, when you know what's right It's like walking in sunlight Sunlight Sunlight, sunlight
Did you like our trip, our walk uh, through the ship, our Royal Caribbean? Okay. And what did you feel when you walked through the ship? Really, I felt that I was in a shopping mall, uh, like our Lulu mall. <laughs> we are walking through the uh, Lulu mall or some shopping mall. Yes, it's a luxury ship, luxury passenger ship. That's why uh, there were so many things. Okay. And in our textbook, in our English textbook, there is a unit completely dedicated for travel. And it is the second unit. Let us watch it. Okay. Yes, the second unit. Wings and wheels. The, uh, there are four units for lessons in this unit and all those four lessons are about travel and there are two prose lessons a shipwreck the sailor the little round, round red house, house and, and there, there are two poems from a railway carriage, carriage and and the marvelous travel okay all these uh, lessons are about travel Okay, now let us focus on the first lesson, A Shipwrecked Sailor. It is written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, a Colombian writer, a very famous writer. And uh, he is known as Gabo. The full name is Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Okay, what is the title of the uh, story? A Shipwrecked Sailor really uh, it is an account of a real incident a real incident it is written by gabriel garcia marquez okay let us read about the uh, lesson the story of a shipwrecked sailor tells the saga of luis alejandro velasco a 20 year old sailor who was washed aboard during a storm in the middle of the Caribbean Sea on February 28, 1955. Clinging to a life raft without food and water, he survived 10 days on the open sea. What happened to Velasco and his shipmates? Read the following extract from the novel and find out what happened to them. So, uh, I hope you understood that, that the story is about a person, a man, a young man named Velasco, Luis Alejandro Velasco. What happened to Velasco? He was, uh, his ship was wrecked and he was uh, in the sea. And uh, he survived in the sea 10 days without food and water and around, around him, him there, there is a lot of water because he is in the sea but can, can he drink, drink a drop of water he is in the sea but can he drink even a drop of water <laughs> no why yes it is salt water he can't drink that salt water. But at last, after 10 days, he was saved by uh, other ships. Okay, now shall we read the lesson? Okay, come to the first paragraph. And what is the, uh, which sea he was uh, uh, drowned, sorry, he was in, in the, now he was in the uh, sea Caribbean. The sea, name of the sea is Caribbean Sea. Don't you remember the name of our ship? Uh, the Royal Caribbean? Yeah. Now, uh, Velasco is in the Caribbean Sea. Okay, let us read. My first impression was that I was utterly alone in the middle of the ocean. The ship plunged into an abyss and disappeared. I had no idea what was happening. I took hold of one of the bobbing crates and stupidly began to contemplate the sea. It was a perfectly clear day. Except for the choppy waves, 
produced by the wind and the cat goes scattered across the surface, there was no evidence of a shipwreck. Okay. My first impression, impression, say the word, impression. Once more please, impression. What do you mean by impression? Okay. Impression means feeling or opinion. Okay. So, his first feeling. Here, impression means feeling, tonal. Uh, first impression, like that. Here, the feeling. Impression means feeling. Okay. So, my first feeling was that I was utterly alone, utterly, what do you mean by utterly, completely, write down the meaning in your text, text itself, you can write down the meaning in the text itself or in the notebook, okay, utterly, completely, I was utterly alone in the middle of the ocean, so Velasco thought that he was alone in the sea, the ship plunged into an abyss and disappeared, the, the ship, ship plunged, what do you mean by plunged, plunged, say the word, plunged, what do you mean by plunged, plunged means sink, sink into, into the water. water, into the sea, okay, sink, plunged means sank, past tense, sank, so the ship sank into an abyss, abyss, abyss. What do you mean by abyss? Abyss means a bottomless pit. What do you mean by bottomless pit? Pit, you know. Bottomless. What do you mean by bottom? Yes, bottom of a bottle. Or what, what can we say? Bottom. Okay, bottomless. What do you mean by bottomless? Adikanata. Adikanata kuri. Bottomless. Pit. So, the ship sank in the, in a bottomless pit and disappeared. Now, Velasco cannot see the ship. Ship was sank in the ocean. Okay. I had no idea what was happening. I took hold of one of the bobbing crates. I took hold of. What do you mean took hold of? Okay. I took hold, hold of one of the bobbing crates. Crates, crates means wooden box. What do you mean by crates? Wooden box. Bobbing crates. Look at this picture. I'll show you. Look at this picture. Here you can see bobbing crates. This is a crate and this is another crate. Bobbing crates. What do you mean by bobbing? Moving up and down in the ocean, in the waves. Okay. So these are the bobbing crates. Can you imagine that scene? The crate bobbing in the waves. Okay. I took hold of one of the bobbing crates and stupidly began to contemplate the sea. Stupidly. Stupidly. Foolishly. Stupidly means foolishly. Stupidly began to contemplate the sea. Contemplate. Say the word once more. Contemplate. Once more please. What do you mean by contemplate? Contemplate means look at thoughtfully. Look at something thoughtfully. Or observe. What do you mean by observe? Miriu chikiga sratheode no kaga. So what do you mean by contemplate? Observe. Look at thoughtfully. Thyani kyuga in the ratha wound. Unileki matram sratha gendri girikiga. That is contemplate. Uri kari tireki matram purna mayam sratich irikiga. That is contemplate. Okay. So here contemplate means. Look at the sea. I began to 
look at the sea. Okay. It was perfectly clear day. A very clear day. There is no dark clouds in the sky. In the sky, there is no dark clouds. The sun is shining brightly. Sun is shining brightly. So it was a perfectly clear day. Except for the choppy words produced by the wind and the cables carried across the surface, there was no evidence of the shipwreck. Except for the choppy words. What do you mean by choppy words? Small words. Choppy words means small words. I will show you choppy words. Look, here are some small words. In, it is in the middle of the ocean. So they are very small words. They are known as choppy words. Don't you know tsunami? And tsunami, what about tsunami? Huge words. Big, no, not the word big, but very huge words. They are tsunami. But what is here? Choppy words. Small words. Okay. Choppy words produced by the wind and the cargo scattered across the surface. Cargo. Cargo. Cargo means goods. Things. Goods. I will show you the goods. Look at this picture. Can you uh, see something uh, scattered on the surface of the sea? They are uh, things, goods, very many things. things. So together they are known as goods. Charakugal in the Malayalatil parai, goods. And there is a word good. We will say very good, good, etc. But when, when there is an S, goods, what is the meaning? Things. Okay, so there is, that is the difference between the two words, good and goods. Okay, goods, train, haven't you heard of that? Goods, auto, ah, that is goods, auto, don't you know? That is, okay. Cargo scattered across the surface, there was no evidence of the shipwreck, scattered. No, don't you know, look here. Other uh, things are <coughs> so many uh, places. Here are some uh, things and there are, here are, there are. So, that is scattered. Okay. Across the surface, there was no evidence of a shipwreck. Evidence. Proof. Deliver. Proof. What do you mean by evidence? Proof of a shipwreck. So, now... When we see that sea, the Caribbean Sea at that time, the sea is very calm. There is only choppy words, small words. There is no evidence, no proof of a shipwreck. But there is only one thing. There are so many things scattered in the surface of the sea. So, when we see that cargo, that goods, we can imagine that there was a shipwreck. But except for that, there is no evidence. When we see that ocean, we cannot uh, imagine that there was a shipwreck. Okay. So I began to hear shouts nearby. Through the sharp whistling of the wind, I recognized the voice of Giulio Amador Carabello, the tall, well-built officer who was yelling at someone, Fausto, hold there. Okay. Soon I began to hear shouts nearby. I heard some shouts. Through the sharp whistling of the wind, I recognized the voice of Giulio Amador Carabello. Through the sharp whistling of the wind, whistling of the wind, sound of the wind. I recognized, recognized, what do you mean by recognized? Say the word, <coughs> recognized. Once more please. 
recognized. But when they recognized, identified. Recognized the means identified. The voice of Giulio Amador Carabello. Voice. Voice means sound. <coughs> there are two words. Voice and noise. What is the difference between <coughs> voice and noise? Noise is any sound. N-O-I-S-E. Noise. What do you mean by noise? any sound but what do you mean by voice voice is the sound coming from our vocal cords voice is the sound coming from our vocal cords okay so i recognize the voice of giulio amador carabello the, the sound of carabello what, what is, is the full name, name? giulio amador carabello say once, once more Giulio Amador Carabello, the tall, well-built officer who was yelling at someone. So there are two adjectives for Carabello. What are they? Tall and well-built. So do you remember the word well-built? Yes, you know. <coughs> we have learned this word in the uh, first lesson, um, the mysterious picture. Okay, the tall, well-built officer who was ailing at someone. <coughs> ailing. What do you mean ailing? Shouting. Ailing means shouting at, at someone. someone. Fasto, hold there. So, so Carabello is uh, speaking to someone. Fasto, hold there. Okay. Okay, now let us. Let us read the rest of the uh, story in the next class. You read the first paragraph so many times. There are so many new words. So, uh, read the paragraphs so many times in the correct pronunciation. Use correct pronunciation. If you have any doubt in the pronunciation, you can <coughs> uh, review the class one, uh, once more. Or you can check the pronunciation in the Google or you can ask me. Okay, so uh, don't, no doubt you should read the lesson so many times, the paragraphs, because there are so many new words. Okay, see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. See you.